Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John here. I want to give you a quick overview of my new slide that I custom built. Uh, if you would, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get the notifications, and keep coming back for more. Roll the video. Hold on. give you a quick overview of my new slide that I custom built. It's got a full three quarter inch plywood base that goes under the fridge all the way to the front of the bed. It's cut for the uh, wheel wells. I can still stash stuff on the sides. Uh, the Harbor Freight Jack is up there in the front, but super cool. So check out this slide here, guys. I've got three Milwaukee pack outs on here and here's the best part. All you do is push down and you pull, just get all the way to the back. There we go. And now, literally, there's the back of the Jeep and it's all within easy reach. And you can get to your pack outs all the way at the back of the Jeep here. Put your pack out up there, locks in. Um, this actually extends all the way out as well. You can load them one by one and push them in. It does have the locks that catch, so they lock halfway, but that's not it. That's not everything. And here, we've got our drawer system. Pull out our drawer system. And this thing just slides right out. And I've got all this space to put stuff. And then we got all this storage space here. It goes all the way to the back of the Jeep. We got all this equipment. So we got sockets, air compressor, four hose system, tools, even got room for some propane, jumper cables, stove, toolboxes here, axe, recovery equipment. So a little bit of everything. We got our four air hose lightning kit, got our Moab air compressor, and then we've got our, um, got another impact series of sockets right here. So hope you guys like this concept um, overall a few hundred dollars to build i did burn through about four sheets of plywood um, just due to the length even though it doesn't look like a lot of wood i've got a lot of scraps um, but it's a lot of long boards so you're looking 58 inches in length ripping and then we use pocket hole screws um, to hold everything together and i guarantee you it's going to last so push this back in and overall that's a lot of weight. I get full use of the bed. Uh, the slides are both top ones and the, the rack are rated at, at 500 pounds each. Fridge is on a slide so I can get into that as needed. I can pull this all the way out. Some dump space here on the side, room for that. And basically it's everything that I wanted. I wanted somewhere I could put my pack outs somewhere dry, I could keep my tools. I fit a fridge, I fit a battery system, fit extra tools. I also have some dump spaces for chairs, things like that on this side. Over on this side, I got a space where I can dump muddy recovery ropes and some other longer tools I can keep on the sides down in there. But overall, it's, uh, it's exactly what I had vision. Around back here, we did uh, get Ruby a birthday present. This is the new Iceco VL75. I want to build a, a storage compartment here, like a drawer that pulls out. On top of that, I want to slide and we'll get rid of the toolbox. We'll build a space up there for when we do our batteries. And I want to have a dump area back here. So we'll probably build this the right way, 
and um, I don't want any rickety stuff on here because it's got to travel thousands of miles. But I want an area where when my recovery equipment gets dirty, I want to be able to just dump it into a container area back here where it's not mixed in with other stuff. Same thing with my tools being all the way at the front. They're hard to get to. Um, it's a real pain when you got to unload the truck to get to your tools. So overall, I really like this setup. Um, it's my own proprietary paint job on here along with... Uh, assembly wood glue and uh, Craig screws is pretty much watertight water resistant and we got room for pack outs up top which you can put a lot of weight in pack outs uh, we put 500 pound slides for the top section we got 500 pound slides for our drawer and so you can really load this thing out and we've got a lot of weight in there already and I like it it's a good build so that's my once over the world overview of my uh, storage system on my Jeep Gladiator. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. For early access, check us out over on TikTok and Instagram. And once again, I get to share my dream with you, but the true purpose of this channel is to help motivate, inform, and inspire you so you can get out there and start building your dreams.